What's up, Finables? Welcome back. So today I have a huge announcement I'm going to tell you guys. And also I'm going to go into my June favorites because I was on my channel and I said, uh... Hello, where the hell are my favorite videos? And I love watching those. Now, a lot of you have said that you like watching my videos and you'll just have them play in the background. And I actually do the same exact thing to a lot of other videos. I just let them play. And favorites videos are one of my favorite Favorites videos are one of my favorites to do that too because I feel like I could still cook, I can still organize my room and clean and stuff while I'm still in tune with whoever is uh, talking about their favorites. Okay, so let's get right into the announcement. So obviously I started the jewelry line, Ethereal Jewelry, and then I asked my friend to partner with me and it was just a really exciting moment and we went ahead and did one full round and I wanna say thank you so much for all the support that has come from this, all the love, all the comments. I have so many of you that have been supporting me for the 10 years I've been online. It is just so wild to think that. I'm like, what? Like you guys have been with me even before Glenn and even before through all my stages on YouTube. It is just crazy what a connection I have. And if you came later on, you guys have connected with me and everything is just, it's really wild to like think so many people around the world know me better than some of the people in my real life. And I just appreciate that because for me, honestly, like to open up, I just feel so comfortable, you know, and I don't like surface level shit. Like I don't like any of that. Like, you know what I mean? Just surface. I like getting in connection with you guys. And I've told you a lot of stuff about my life. Let's be real. And I just, I just love it. I like just being an open book with you guys. So with that, I wanted to make an announcement saying that ethereal jewelry has come to an end, but, but it is not a complete end because I know people will ask and all that in comments or whatnot that moving forward, just envision my friend and I just leading our own brands. And my friend was already going to start her own brand regardless. And in the end, we're mature adults and we definitely agreed that in order to meet in the middle, it was kind of hard because once we started this, yeah, we like a lot of the same things, but then after doing a full round of everything, you start to see like the big picture of what we truly like or what we truly want in decisions and all that. And exciting news, we will both have our own personal jewelry line. So you know, there's no drama, no nothing. We're still friends and all of that. And that's it. Hashtag mature. <laughs> it's called maturity. <laughs> Just being adults, you know, and we're both really excited. So with that, I'm definitely excited because I have so many ideas that I want to just execute and show you guys. And my mind has been going wild. And when my mind goes wild with ideas, I'm up until like three or four in the morning. And I definitely was up one day and I was just like, whoa. And I had just, and I have a whole just list of crazy, just not crazy, but really cool ideas that I'm going to implement with my brand. So I will let you know when the Instagram goes live and the new uh, name for the brand and all of that. And I am really excited. Um, yeah, it's going to be so fun. So it was a really good learning experience because both my friend and I went through the whole process of learning everything together, all the hard issues and things to figure out. So now we both have the tools to do it on our own, which I think is really cool that we're able to do that. And yes, get ready for some really exciting things. I can't wait to just, I just have so many ideas for like reels and lives and just videos I wanna do and styling. What I did wanna say is in case you did support and you were a personal pineapple uh, follower of mine, I wanna make sure that I hook you up with a free jewelry pouch with my new rebranded name, just because you did show support. So I definitely wanna make sure that I show it back to you and I, I wanna show my appreciation just so you have it. Um, also, I just think it's fair as well because you know we just did one round, but this this is honestly the best time uh, to start our own lines instead of just getting deep in it and then it's like not what we want and then we have to start all over again on our own. I want to make sure you guys are hooked up because you know you guys mean a lot to me and I know a lot of you uh, went out of your way to make a purchase and all that so I want to make sure I show that appreciation for sure. So I'm going to send out a free jewelry pouch to anybody who has their uh, receipt and then you can send it to me when the time comes though I'll make an announcement when that goes down but yeah just to show my appreciation you can, can of course still keep the ethereal jewelry case or pouch or box whatever you got with your order and because everybody gets something different just depending on what they order and there's like you know so many different combos you can do but I definitely want to hook you up with the brand's new name when that does come so 
Yes, that's very exciting news. So now we're gonna go into my June favorites. Let's get on with it. Let's start off with, I'm gonna start off with something fun. Let's do my favorite snacks. Okay, so I have been obsessed with these three, I'm back, these three different snacks. Uh, one is called O-Tube and it's so funny because when I first, FYI, you can get these all at H Mart, okay? <laughs> um, I'm obsessed with H Mart. So O-Tube, what's so funny about this is I picked this up and I'm like, ooh, jalapeno and cheese. When I first tried it out the first time, like the first chip, I'm like, mm, I don't know if I like this. And I tried a second, I'm like, oh, do I like this flavor? I tried the third, I'm like, ooh, I think I'm really liking this fourth. Oh, wow. It's almost like the first one confuses you, but then after that, it's just all uphill from there. You just love it. Like, it's so good. What I love about it is that it literally looks like a French fry. It's like a hollow, super crispy chip. Like, what you see is what you get, and they're pretty long, and they're thick, and they're not greasy at all, and I love these. They do have a little heat to them, so if you're sensitive, you probably won't. They probably might be spicy for you, but for me, I love it but I think they are so good. So I've been obsessed with these. I've been buying them every single time I go to H Mart. Next up, turtle chips, the churro ones. You guys have to try this out. It is just like the best freaking dessert chip or cracker, whatever you want to call it ever. So it's like a triple layer and it's like chocolate churro goodness. It like melts while it's crunchy out of this world. You guys, if anything, you guys really need that one. That's probably like number one. I think a lot of you would like that. Now, if you're a fan of Funyuns, I actually have something better than Funyuns, and it's the onion ring chips, and I have ate these for so long. They have been my favorite for years. They're always my road trip snack. It's just the best. So they are baked, and they just have so much flavor. You can't stop eating them, I'm telling you. So go get those three snacks because you need them in your life. Okay, next up. So I need to get my nails done because they have just been super plain and blah and my cuticles are nasty and I can't wait to get acrylics and some really cute. If you hear any like boop, it's, well not boop, but boom. It's 4th of July weekend. It's gonna get loud. You know what I mean? So uh, I feel bad for all the pets and everybody who gets, all the pets who get scared and all that. But I can't wait to get my nails done. I want to get like a really, I have like so many designs I want to get done. I've just been doing my own and did I maybe paint my nails for this shirt today? I did, I will admit it. But I want to go over this OPI plumping top coat. This is so good. So if you have like really thin nails or say like you kind of like do some strokes of your nail polish and you see the lines and all that, this is definitely going to fill up those ridges. It just puts like the most beautiful top coat where it almost looks like gel. When OPI sent this over, I was thinking a volumizing top coat. What is this like mascara? No, this really works. Like it's no joke. So um, this basically makes your manicure look really good. So I highly recommend it. Now a scent that I've been wearing nonstop during spring and summer has been Chanel Chance. I absolutely love this one. It's fresh. It's just, hold on, let's spray it. It's like fresh and not, it's not fruity. It has like a very light sort of citrusy floral and I'm not super into florals, but this floral is done so well. I can't believe how fast I've gone through this perfume because I'm that obsessed. But I also want to try the green one because the girl who does my Botox, she said you have to grab the green one. So I'm going to go and smell it because now that's all I'm thinking about because she says if you love this one, I think you're going to like green even more. So yes, but this one, Oh, it is just so good, really nice and fresh, and I wear it for day or night. I have been trying out the Patrick Ta blushes. Now this is the one that has the cream and the powder. I love this. This color is just so beautiful for summertime. This one's Do We Know Her? I love that name. It's just so sassy. And I absolutely love Patrick Ta. I just think he's just such a great artist. And I also have met him in person. He's really, really sweet. And I love the cream and the powder aspect. So you can just wear the powder alone. You can wear the cream alone or you can double up. So I really love that as well. But they're very pigmented, last long. I've been so stuck on ColourPop cream blushes where this I absolutely love, so it wasn't a waste of money. It's actually worth it, and I love the packaging. Glow screen, you guys know the deal. I'm obsessed with this stuff. It gives you a beautiful glow. I absolutely love it. There's nothing I can say about it that is wrong. I love it underneath makeup. I love it on its own when I don't wear makeup, and yeah, 
It's great. So they also came out with a every single face uh, watery lotion. This one's SPF 50. This one is SPF 40. But I really like both of them. This one's not going to give you a glow. It's a little bit more thin in consistency. So you can definitely get away with just wearing it underneath makeup in case you're kind of worried about any glow from this one because this one does give you a glow. I'm not going to lie. So if you have oily skin, be prepared for that extra glow. But it's so worth it. I mean, if you have oily skin, you're already used to blotting and uh, touching up and all that stuff. But if you don't want any glow, I highly recommend this one. It's really nice and light. I've been obsessed with these little powder puffs. They are so good. You can get them on Amazon and they do come airtight, like really, really tiny and thin. All you have to do is just let them just air out and they just fluff right up. So you can pick like black, nude, uh, pink. I believe this one is the pink one, but they just set the under eye so well and I love it and it really helps from your eye from creasing. We all have like little fine lines and all of that, but this just pushing the product in underneath your eyes is a game changer. I just feel like it looks extra smooth now. Now this product really surprised me and it was the Milk Makeup, what is this called? I don't know, Sunshine Under Eye Tint Plus Brighten. So this is the shade three and I'm not a fan of like a lot of click pens, but this one has changed my mind because when you roll it underneath your eye, it's such a thin formula that you feel like it's not gonna give you coverage but it really does and it's very brightening. So I really love three for my skin tone. I think it just brightens up really nicely. It doesn't crease. I'm sure you can add like your favorite concealer for like extra coverage because it is that thin, but I love it on its own. I just feel like I look super bright and this is probably like one of my favorite products from Milk because I love their setting mist. It's a must. It's a holy grail, FYI, during summertime. Uh, but this one really surprised me because I'm so picky on concealers. I feel like I love trying out different concealers, but none of them impress me. But this one really did because it is thin. And just look at it. Look how it just set so smooth without it being set with a powder. It just lays really nice. Next up, I'm gonna mention just two ColourPop products. I have the Strawberry Overnight Lip Mask. I love this. You guys know I'm a big fan of the Laneige, but just like an everyday little balm. It adds like a really nice sheen and you do not need a lot because it leaves a really nice gloss. It's just right there. But your, your lips just look really fresh and hydrated and I love the strawberry scent. It's just done really well. It's really, really sweet and it actually smells like strawberries. And then my last two favorite palettes, I was gonna mention the Patrick Ta, I've been using it, but I feel like it's not like a necessity because it is on the expensive side and I think these kind of are just as good. And they're the two ColourPop palettes that I've been using. Peach Please and Cream Soda. They're very similar, but I love these for spring and summer. So this one is Cream Soda. These quads are probably my favorite, favorite eyeshadows from ColourPop. Very simple, they all work. You don't need to dip into another palette when you just have this because it has the two mattes and two shimmers. It always has some sort of uh, shade to add def <laughs> definition and just more contrast. And then this one is Peach Please. Wait, can you see that? Sorry right there. So they're really, really nice. And then here's cream soda. So I've been kind of combining both of these. These are so beautiful that it's like you don't really need an expensive palette, but this one I use the most, cream soda. But yeah, I highly recommend that from ColourPop. Um, other than that, like for makeup and stuff, I've been pretty light. Like this is the first time I really wear foundation and I'm kind of not enjoying it because I've just been doing concealer and I do like a powder and that is it. And I am good to go. Um, I love cream blushes, but yeah, I don't know. I've just been having like a more light type of makeup application. I love that during summer because if you're like sweaty, it's not fun to have just like a whole on like full face just melting away with you. It just feels heavy even if the foundation is light. Even if the concealer is light, it doesn't matter. When you sweat, it just layers everything and you just feel everything on top of your face and it's not fun. But one of my favorite moisturizers during summertime is the watermelon juice or pink juice, uh, watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer from Glow Recipe. Sorry, I just totally brain farted on that, but yeah. All right guys, well that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Look out for my new rebrand. I'm super excited. I can't wait to show you all my ideas and concepts and all my fun stuff to come. 
get ready. Um, I'm going to have an Instagram for it and all that. Again, thank you so much for all the support. Uh, the time will come where I'll ask, you know, in case you made an order for Ethereal, I'll have you shoot me an email, probably to a separate email so I keep everything organized so I can ship you out a free, uh, a free, a free jewelry pouch with a new rebrand uh, to show me appreciation. And that is about it. All right, guys, I love you so much and I will see you in the next one. I hope you guys have a wonderful 4th of July and stay safe.